Hey folks, here's a little wee demonstration video how to change the reed plates in Elite Oscar Harmonica. It's dead easy, so uh, come over to the workshop and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are at the trusty workshop, which is uh, just my uh, gig case. And uh, this is a really, really quick job, okay? And I'll, I'll show you how to do it. So um, basically, uh, there's your harmonica. And when you buy a packet of reeds, you'll see that they've got two reed plates and three screws, okay? So uh, I've already taken these ones apart and make sure you get the right key reed plate for the right key harmonica. So uh, this is my G uh, harmonica, which I'm uh, changing. So what we're gonna do, now some people get a bit nervous about opening a harmonica for the first time and, and it's really, you don't have to worry about it too much. They're, they're, pr they're pretty resilient. So um, what I'm gonna do is take off the cover plate, okay? So you're, all you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver I think I've got this one in a cracker. All right, and uh, so keep those little screws and nuts to the side, okay? Because you don't wanna mix them up with those three other screws because they're slightly different. All right, and we'll take the cover plate off. And when you take your cover plate off your harmonica, you are left with the bare bones. Here it is, a plas the plastic comb and uh, three screws. Now, when you actually look at a harmonica, you'll notice the reeds, the actual reed is on the inside of the harmonica there on the top and then underneath you'll notice they're on the outside. Okay and again you'll see the screw heads on the top and they come through at the bottom. Okay so that's it. So anyway I'm going to take these apart now okay and, um, and I'll take these three screws off and here we are. Last one. And in theory, the harmonica should just fall apart. Here we go. So there's the bottom one. There's the three screws, which you don't really need again, because you've got some new ones. And there's the top plate. And uh, there we go. We can get rid of them. Now we'll get the new ones. Now the, the question is, which one goes where and which way around does it go? Because once you've taken it apart, you've got no point of reference really. So um, it's quite easy when you think about it. Here we go. This one is the top one. How do I know that? Well, it's got the bigger holes on the top. Okay, so it's got little holes here and big holes here. Now, which way round does it go? Well, you see there's a little lug here. I suppose that's the word for it. And again, does it go this way or this way? All right, well, the bigger reed, the longer reed, it goes towards the left-hand side of the harmonica. And when you actually look at the comb, you'll see there's bigger slots here and they go narrower. So that's how that follows. So we'll stick that one on the top like this. There we go. And we know that's the top because the letter G is on the left hand side as well. Okay, so now we'll put the bottom one on. So that's just the reverse. Again, you've got the little lug there and you've got to make sure, again, they've got the, um, the, the larger reeds towards the left hand side and the shorter ones towards the right. And that goes on that little lug, okay? Now what you'll notice when you actually do that is you'll notice that the reeds on the top are on the inside of the harmonica and the reeds on the bottom are on the outside. That's perfectly right, okay, just like that. Okay, so now we'll get those three new screws and I'll put those in. There. Now, just tighten them all individually a little bit. Don't. Don't go too crazy. And now they're self-tapping screws, so there might be a bit of resistance, but don't worry. That's the way it goes. Okay, so and now and then what I'll do is I'll just tighten them all evenly because I'll make sure that everything is in place and that it's sitting nicely, sitting nicely within the comb. Make sure you do that before you actually tighten it up fully. Okay, and now here we go. And I don't go really, really tight. I don't want to strip the thread or anything, but I just want to tighten them enough that they're holding everything in place and creating a good seal. Okay, and there we go. Right, so now all that's left to do is to put the cover plates on. Again, when you look at it, the harmonica logically, you can see which is the top. So the top, read, uh, top cover plate, sorry, goes back on. And you know it's the top because it says Lee Oscar and it's also got the numbers one to 10. Okay, so that goes on the top. And you'll actually feel see that that fits in there quite nicely as well in amongst the uh, the comb. And then you get the bottom one, you do exactly the same there. Okay. And then you wanna put the screws through. 
Now again, don't tighten them up fully. Should just fit in there nicely. All the holes correspond, so that isn't, you know you shouldn't have any trouble getting the getting the screws in. Okay, and do one again the other side. And then what we'll do is we'll tighten them up. Okay. Tighten them up a bit more, and then before we do the final tighten, we'll just make sure that they're everything that the cover plate is in snugly and it's all in shape, which it all feels quite good. Okay, and I'll tighten them up a bit more, and here we go. There is your harmonica reeds changed. Okay, and uh, I'll give it a blow. <laughs> Sounds all right to me, so we'll uh, give it a go on that. Now you can buy Leoska read um, uh, tool kits and things like that as well. I do have one, but you know um, you can do it just with a pretty bog standard screwdriver. There's no drama there. So um, anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe uh, to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of other videos to do with harmonica and quirky music stuff and old time bluesy things. So um, yeah, little Chuck, the one man skiffle machine, showing you how to do harmonica reads. Thanks for tuning in.